Prince Harry and Meghan's baby Lilibet has just been born for a week, when her family has been entangled in a lot of noise. The first is Harry's controversy with the British media about the baby's name. Now, even Mr. Thomas Markle, Meghan's father, is also, making waves. Thomas Markle has threatened to air the Duchess of Sussex's, Dirty Laundry, in a new interview days after giving birth to her daughter Lilibet. In a trailer for an explosive interview with 60 Minutes Australia, Meghan Markle's estranged dad pleads with the Sussexes to let him see his granddaughter Lilibet, who was born one week ago. He has not spoken to his daughter for three years after Meghan cut off contact with her estranged father after he was caught staging paparazzi shots ahead of the royal wedding, according to reports. The interview, set to air on Sunday shows Mr. Markle explains how he is desperate for a truce and wants forgiveness for, one dumb mistake. He also claims to have only heard about the birth of his granddaughter, on the radio, to proves that Harry and Meghan did not inform him. Despite his pleas for forgiveness, the 76-year-old risks damaging his relationship with the Duke and Duchess of Sussex even further after threatening to air, dirty laundry. Meghan's father still hasn't met the Sussex's first-born child Archie, too, and royal experts say he's unlikely to meet his grandchildren anytime soon. The new interview comes as Prince Harry and Meghan Markle issued a legal warning to the BBC over claims the Queen was, never asked, by the couple if they could name their daughter Lilibet. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry kept their daughter's arrival news extremely private as they broke the news after two days in order to, enjoy the birth in peace. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex opted for a, female-founded, hospital which could accommodate a heavy security presence for Lilibet to arrive safely, an insider says. They are reportedly, very thankful for how smoothly everything went, after managing to keep the plan under wraps and ensure privacy. Meghan's care was managed by Dr. Melissa Drake with remote support from Dr. Gowrie Mother in the UK, who helped oversee Archie's birth at Portland Hospital in London. Meghan and Harry are starting a new happy life with complete family of four. Unfortunately, an anonymous relative claimed Markle, won't ever talk to her family again. According to the Markle relative, the separation between Meghan and her family is entirely, her choice. The family has no intentions to try to heal it since they don't want to, run after someone who doesn't want to talk to them. Despite the distance, Meghan's anonymous family wishes the Sussexes nothing but the best with the birth of their baby daughter. Meghan is known to be extremely close to her mother, Doria Raglan, who is believed to be living with the Sussexes in their $14 million Montecito mansion where she is assisting them in caring for Archie and his newborn sister, but she does not appear to have a close relationship with anyone else in her immediate family. This isn't the first member of Meghan's family to publicly criticize her or accuse her of deepening the chasm between herself and her relatives. Meghan and Harry have been chastised by her estranged father, Thomas Markle, and half-sister Samantha on several times, most recently for statements made during their explosive interview with Oprah. Following the Sussex's March television interview, Thomas and Samantha stepped out to criticize the couple, with Meghan's half-sister accusing the Duchess of using her mental health issues as a pretext to treat people like dishrags. Samantha launched another scorching attack on the Duchess in a follow-up interview with TMZ, alleging that her marriage to Harry is headed for divorce unless the couple undertakes intensive psychotherapy. She also asked the Sussexes to embark on an apology tour after they accused the royal family of racism during their Oprah appearance. Thomas then went after Harry, calling him, snotty, and accusing him of neglecting to help Meghan when she was having suicidal thoughts. According to new reports, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle try their best to, keep peace, with the royal family. They reportedly keep the peace and try their best to just focus on their young children. For Meghan, the baby is truly a miracle and a gift as she was conceived by Meghan not too long after a heartbreaking miscarriage. After Lilibet was born, Meghan and Harry said they felt, blessed, and thanked fans for their, love and prayers. The source added, they are so in love with her, and she's absolutely beautiful. She's a cross between Harry and Meghan. The same insider also spoke about her life on the West Coast, saying that Montecito, is very calm and perfect for her. They're close to the beach which they enjoy and they also have neighborhood friends to hang out with. Meghan and Harry spend a lot of time at home with Archie, 
but they also managed to get a couple of date nights. It feels like their first real home together because they were able to find a house they both love. It's nice to see them enjoying life. An insider told us weekly. They've had lots of lovely gifts sent from friends and family members including Doria, but the most special thing she's provided is her time. Megan's mum Doria Ragland is now helping the couple out. The source continued. Megan's so grateful to have her mom to lean on, and Harry just adores her. Meghan Markle has been slammed for the over-the-top pricing of her children's audiobook, The Bench. The $15 audiobook proved to be so unpopular that its price was slashed in half within hours of its release. With a runtime of 1 minute and 47 seconds or 107 seconds, the children's audiobook was so expensively priced when it was released that Express pointed out that listeners were paying 8 cents per word. It definitely made the list for one of the most expensive audiobooks on Amazon. The audiobook highlights families of different skin colors and backgrounds, from a light-skinned soldier returning home to a dark-skinned man in dreadlocks, representing Meghan's own inter-racial family structure. The picture book version of The Bench has the text, which is in rhymes, illustrated by watercolors by best-selling Californian artist Christian Robinson. Fans of the Duchess have bought the book in their droves and posted gushing tributes online. But professional book critics have been less kind. Sophie McBain, writing The New Statesman, describes the book as a beautiful gift for Prince Harry, but not for anyone else. While it's being marketed as a children's book, most critics seem to agree that its sentimental feel-good message is aimed more at parents, and one parent in particular. Ashley Banjo has made the revelation that a project with Prince Harry and Meghan Markle may be on the horizon. The speculation comes after the dancer and his diversity bandmates caught flack after their Britain's Got Talent dance performance sparked controversy. In their Black Lives Matter performance, a white police officer could be seen kneeling on him causing a flood of nearly 30,000 complaints. The BAFTA-winning performance touched the Duke and Duchess of Sussex and they expressed interest in working with him. Markle and Prince Harry's recent interviews attacking the royal family are said to be the major reason why viewers have been complaining of Sussex fatigue. The fire ignited when the couple allegedly accused BBC of libel over the claim that they didn't inform Queen Elizabeth II they're naming their second daughter, Lilibet Diana Mountbatten Windsor, after her. The royal biographer Angela Levin also mentions the Sussex fatigue the audiences have been feeling since they can only keep up the publicity for some time. She added that the Duke and Duchess tell-all interview with Oprah Winfrey received mixed reactions from UK viewers. Shortly after this, Prince Harry had more interviews talking about the monarchy. Although the Duke of Sussex was praised for opening up about his mental health, the allegations he made against the firm have been less well received. Thank you for watching. If you liked, feel free to leave a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon to get new video updates. We will update the latest videos about the royal family every day. Thanks and goodbye.